So, uh, okay, let's go to this one right here. This is Louisiana. And we're gonna go to Melissa. Hi. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> how can we help you here. today? Can you hear me? Sure can. Um. Okay. So, my husband has been deployed for almost a year now. Um, and he met someone out there, a fellow soldier. He's been, um, well, in the state, so he's visited a few times. But um, anyway, so I guess, um, you know, things got really serious. And in June, he told me that he just didn't want to be with me. He had stronger feelings for her. You know, all the same stuff that I'm sure you've heard. Um, mm -hmm. But now I, I'm starting to snap out of my depression. But now it's about four weeks away from him coming home. And she's said on her Facebook, which she made public for me to see, that she's moving here um, with him. And I don't really know how to handle it because I'm just so hurt by how she's been trying to get at me. And I don't know mm. what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I know to work on my pies, and I have been, but I'm just so terrified of seeing them together. And I don't know what to do. Wow. It's going to be painful. It's going to hurt. Yeah. How is she... Yeah moving to where you is she getting a change of station no i mean they don't i don't think they really have any plans <laughs> per se it's just happening. um you know he's got a lot yeah i he's got a lot on his plate when it comes to divorce with our kids we've got two kids and that's another thing i don't, I don't want them to be around her because she seems like a terrible influence but but he hasn't even know, been home i mean he's been deployed from when he said that he hasn't been back home with you or the kids, none of that. Yeah. He visited a few times and in okay. May actually he came back and told me he cheated and um, he ended up like breaking it up with her, but then in June just got sucked back in. So yeah, mm -hmm. he visited like for Christmas, but then it's only been like a handful of days. Okay. So, so is yeah, she, I don't think they have, mm -hmm. is she in the service as well? She is. Well, they're both, I think, reserve army, okay. so they're not active duty, um, gotcha. but she was planning on going active duty, but okay. now she's just trying to find just like a hospital job. Okay. All right. So let me talk about a couple of things here very quickly, if I may. The fact that he is making that public so you can see it yeah, probably indicates mm -hmm. that indeed he is trying to hurt you. Now, let's think that through, though. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean he's wicked and evil and mean. But it could very it's well be. It's her mean. that's doing it, not him. It's the other woman. Oh, I thought it was yeah, he yeah. that was doing it. No, it's her. It's the other woman. Okay. What she said, from what she's saying, it actually, yeah. so it actually sounds like there could mm -hmm. be a lot of positive things that can happen when he gets home. Because you said he came home in May, things mm -hmm. were going well, he admitted to you he cheated. When he left again mm -hmm. and was around her for the next three months, that's yeah. when it changed yeah. into where I want to be separated, right. I want to be with her. So... Mm -hmm. There's a lot working yep. in Melissa's advantage. Yes, and, and thank you. I misunderstood that mm -hmm. altogether. Uh, so erase what I was about to say, sh 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 back that up, mm -hmm. <laughs> and say this. If she's that desperate, <laughs> if she is that desperate that right. she's trying to hurt you, she's trying to run you away. Mm -hmm. She's trying to make you mad enough that okay. you'll cut off things. That means she sees you as oh. a threat. You understand? You are a threat to her. Yeah. Now, my recommendation yeah. is this. Forget about her. Mm -hmm. She's not the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is that when your mm -hmm. husband comes, and I realize he is a problem, but she's not the problem. And so when your husband gets mm -hmm. back there and begins to see his children again, which means he's going to be around you some, that's when you do all the things that we talk about, where you become the best you can be physically, intellectually, emotionally, spiritually. You've got the advantage of the fact that you have the children. That's actually an advantage. Mm -hmm. And if she weren't afraid of this relationship, if she weren't worried about him leaving, she probably wouldn't doing these things unless she's just downright viciously mean. Mm -hmm. Viciously mean people do it no matter what. Mm -hmm. But if she's not just downright viciously mean, then she's scared of you. And you should take that as a positive. Now, it's going to hurt when they come back and he sees her and is around her. It's going to hurt. I understand you're not wanting your children to be around her, but you're not going to be able to maintain that a long time because un unless a judge says that the kids can't go around her, then he's going to have the ability yeah. to do that. And so concentrate, right. rather than concentrating on, oh my goodness, I don't want my kids to see that woman, concentrate on, I'm going to be such an amazing mom. I'm going to be so wonderful with these kids that, that there's no way mm -hmm. they're ever going to look at her and think, wow, that's a good person to be my dad's yeah. life. And so you focus on you becoming yeah. the absolute 
best you can be. Mm -hmm. You can't stop her from moving there. Okay. You can't stop her from doing what she's yeah. going to do, but you can definitely mm -hmm. be the best you, you can be. And that's, that's where you're going to find the victory. Yeah. If you find the victory, that's where it's going to be. Would you agree, Kimberly? I would. There's so many unknowns in this situation. The first unknown of being, is she actually yeah. going to move there? The second unknown being when they mm -hmm. get back to reality in the States and they're not in this yeah. fantasy world. It's weird to say that about a deployment, but I mean, right now they have full access. There's not real life for them there right now. Right. So there's so many oh, unknowns. Yeah, definitely. Just like Joe said, you yeah. focusing on you, being the best version of you you can be is perfect. And I would also okay. encourage you to not look at her Facebook. It's only going to make you yeah. more frustrated and upset. And that's not where your focus needs to be right now. Your focus needs to be yeah. on you and the kids and definitely you. Yeah. Because she will definitely affect yeah, you in bad ways. Don't let her do that. Don't let yeah, her get just, that upper hand. She just wanted me to react. Yeah, <laughs> she just that's right. React, and I'm not going to do that. Good. Mm -hmm. Don't let All that right, woman thank win. Thank you so much for the advice. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. I won't, I won't do that. Okay.